Hey guys, good afternoon. It's Monday. So, what we're doing today? Oh, it was Mr. Remy back there. What we're doing today is we are going to to the other part of town. I don't know. We want to go experiment the new AMC theater. That's a dining. I guess you sit down and there's a menu and you order and they bring it to you. We want to go experience that in the mall where Hermes and Fendi is coming. So they're trying to make that a luxury mall. It's about 50 minutes away from my home, but we're going to make that drive. We want to go watch Transformer, The Rise of the Beast. Is that what it's called? Yep. Look at that. I got that. All right, guys. So, yes, I will take you with us. So we're going to see what that theater looks like. And we'll go from there. Until then, see ya. Yeah, we're going to the movies. Here's the MS store that's coming through. It's going to be keeping us social. It's like, ah. Is the MS store open yet? Probably not. I guess it is. No, that's Louis Vuitton. Oh, Dior is coming. Okay, that's why they've been taking all them other stores out of here. We have deal coming next to MS, so we're going to. They have revamped this whole mall. Okay, here, look at here. I'm in a whole different mall. Bob Gary. Bob Gary is coming. Dior is coming. I think Fendi is coming. Ooh, I could be living in Tobago these days. Just make sure I have luxury money. Because I don't. <laughs> but I'll come fake it until I, I make I, it. I got a couple of nickels. You got a couple of nickels? Yeah. Oh. Are we, aren't we dining in? Yeah, I think we can speak it. Yeah, we got one where the bread is Yeah. Do they have go. a menu though? I'm sure you'll see it over there. Yeah, that's why I said. Have you been to this before? No. You haven't done the dining one? Yeah. Let me get the tickets. Let's ask somebody. We're like lost. In the sauce. <laughs> we want to go to the dining one. We do not want to carry our own food. Let's ask. So now we go get our stuff over there. It's more than 30 minutes. Yeah, you can hear it bring it up. I thought you said 30 minutes. I don't know what you're trying to eat up in here. More like popcorn. to get me. I don't need to come over there. I use the bathroom. You know what I want? I'm, if 
you don't know what I want, you've been married to me for all these years, then we need a divorce. because that's what Remy likes. Everything for your kid, especially the only one you got left. What's it say? Condiments? Indiana Jones. Rodeo Drive? We just look to pick 
Like they have revived it. That's why they're taking all them little cheesy stores like Forever 21 and <laughs> tell them they got to go. I was, oh, look at a Bottega over there. All right, let's catch the people. Beautiful. It goes our ghetto. I want to see what it looks like inside. OMG, so dark. They got barbecue on there. Okay. It has double burgers. Are you sure okay. this is mine? Okay, so. It's not mine. I don't like barbecue sauce on my burgers. Okay, so yeah, this is my ranch. There you go. Voila. Bon appetit, everybody. Premi wings. Chicken wings. Dry red. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. You're the only one that don't eat burgers. Oh, it's strange, cry. child. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's cost a lot of money, so this shit better taste good. So you're saying oh. you can travel back oh. in time? Okay, well, when I'm in the prison, I'm waiting for the movie to start. A lot of people. I can save my mom. I can save your parents. You can also destroy. building something else over here I don't know what that is that's coming and something I think it's a restaurant something you know, coming over that's, here yeah. that's at the say it says margarita garden Social. margarita garden go get some margaritas over here uh, all right This is the social. This is where all the restaurants are. 
why we got Celine coming up here. Upstairs, nice down here. Now, Kari is coming over here. I'm so lost in the mall I used to go to. Lower Vuitton. Okay, here we go. Namings. No, Lower Vuitton is still in the same spot. They just brought Gucci close to Louis. Yeah. Louis is still in the same place where there's close to Namings. St. John's store, the Dalmatian. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's new in the Louis Rooms. What's oh, new? What's new? Oh. guys we are movies over it was extremely good even though i kind of dozed off <coughs> a couple of times only because of the drink i had but other than that it was a good movie <coughs> and um stop six stop doing that remy loved it so that's all that matters we just went to support transformer the rise of the beast it was different as compared to the other Transformers. But other than that, that was it. We're heading on home. We're gonna go sit in traffic. I might stop at a goodwill, don't know, but we shall see. <clears throat> so guys, we are home, we are home. So it's Monday evening, we just made it home. It's like past eight o'clock. Cause knowing me, while I was in the mall, I stopped at H&M again. This is a different H and M. I'm gonna have to do H and M. Um, for I found a couple of items. So yeah, 
I mean, why not? That's the luxury mall. So I figured they have nicer things. And then I did stop at Goodwill. Got a couple of items. Just a cute little skirt for myself. There's no need to do a haul on that. This cute by uh, Terry John. It's this cute little number. Look at that. Voila. So I am probably going to wear this maybe with a black blazer or black top. Just a proper color for maybe church. I like the trimmings. Look at that. Look at the back. Beautiful tweed. You guys know I cannot pass a tweed. Ain't no way, no how. So, and what else I got out of there was a, um, a cute Thomas James. Different. Beautiful. Almost look like a Fendi. But that's so cute. That was the only one they had. So, voila. So, guys, we're home. Bye to go feed my face. And this is the end of Monday's vlog. I'll probably post it with something else. I don't know if I'm just going to do one day vlog or maybe I'll continue it with something else. We don't know. Well, until then, see you next time. Bye bye. Peace. Okay, guys, Tuesday, continuation of the vlog from Monday. Like I said, it's shipping day. I got a few people bought some stuff. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for those of you who bought items. I'm going to ship them today. It's Tuesday. So that's what we're going to do. Guys, I cannot wait to do my hair because I'm so over this wig situation. I want my hair to breathe, but I'm using that African shabby oil shabby oil that you know helps breakage of your hair because I did my hair just come kind of got damaged around this area so I am treating it and it's beginning to look good but my hairstylist is going to do some kind of crochet on on the 1st of July, she says she knows what to do so that it won't damage my hair. This is somebody else. The first person kind of damaged my hair, but there's somebody that works with her that does a better job. And uh, she told me she can do a whole better job. So I'm going to give her a chance. I guess she says she do a cap on the knee thing and then they pass the crochet where it wouldn't even damage my hair. I can't wait to see how that's going to work out, but I'm waiting for that. Cause it's getting hot in the neck of my woods and i do not want to be wearing a wig right now i mean i can let my hair breathe but i don't know if i'm that brave is there is there is there is there so all right guys we're getting gas and to the post office i go so hopefully you guys will get your stuff by the end of the week for those of you who bought stuff <clears throat> Sorry, my AC is on. It's loud, but that's what it is. Thank you, guys, and the vlog continues. I don't know if I'm gonna close it today. We shall see. All right, guys, peace. Bye. Oh, what's happening over here? No, oh, MG, guys. Huh? Bobby actually found me this white sneaker, sneaker chocolate. I've been looking for this for like how long? I know that I'm not supposed to eat sweets, but this right here quenches my hunger. So I'm so glad you found me the white one. This is white chocolate peanut caramel nugget. Yum yum. So can't wait to eat it. I've been looking for this everywhere I go to the grocery store, to the convenience store. He finally got it at the gas station. Look at here, look at here. Me. Love it. That's what I'm gonna have after that. Bottle of water. Alright guys. Oh, I've got my cross. Yeah, I wonder my neck is so bad. Mm, it's a purple color. The white should all blue. I have orange on my dress. That's why I'm wearing these earrings. Even though I have blue ones. Alright guys, bye. Alright guys, so we're gonna go to Goodwill. This is the Goodwill by my house. Hopefully, I'll find something.
Hi, how are ya? Pardon me, man. That's okay.
morning guys it is and i'm looking crazy it is thursday continuation of the vlog so guys this is what my see how thin my hair has gotten the braids did a damage to my hair so this is what i'm using to treat the JB oil and i am using the chibi hair growth so this is what i'm using to try to bring my hair back to life because if i tell you it's a hot mess sorry the way i look no makeup no makeup just a little powder to take away the shine out of my face so what I do is I use this part right here and I put it through. So I have this little makeup stick for gray hair. So as my grays were trying to come through, instead of coloring my hair, being that I'm treating my hair, I'm not going to put any color on there. Just gonna use the, the hair stick. Where is it? Where is the box? So I can show you guys what it is. Hold on. It's called something. It's from this box. I did get this from Timo, but they do have it in the beauty supply store. So I just wanted to see how long this will last. They have one that's permanent, and then they have one that is just temporary. This is temporary. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to do permanent because I don't want my hair to break. It is a mess. My hair is very thin. That is coming through. Let's uh, try to braid it on the sides. So we can we can braid this part. Closet is a mess, so I can pull it through. I have stuff hanging everywhere. So after this, I'm gonna probably wear a wig. Look at this. This is the part of the hair that I'm trying to grow. Oh. I'm not coming close guys only because I have no makeup on I gotta put some gel on there I don't even know if I want to put gel on my hair actually being that I'm treating it Maybe I can do a little bit of baby, baby hair gel. Oh, look at my hair, what a mess. My hair 
hair is so fine that the baby hair is not even doing it. It's like the whole hair just want to become a baby hair. Let's see here. I'm not like going anywhere, but I just need to get myself together. Maybe I might go over the valley later on today. Maybe no, sh not sure. Oh, today is Thursday. It's Goodwill Dollar Ninety Nine Day. I don't even know if they're doing that anymore. Being that they don't changed all their policies. All right. So this is what we're working with, guys. Look, too much breakage. Oof. Right on. Working it. So put the put this back. Put this back. I've been using this for about I think three weeks now, and I'm beginning to see some growth. Oh, interest. Oh. I'm coming. If I wanna go anywhere, being that I'm not going anywhere, maybe I can just wear my hair like this. Looking crazy. I can do a ponytail. That's what I should do. But I just treated the hair, so. I still, still see some grays. Popping through. No gray here. I'm going to wash the gray right out of my hair. Ah, my hair is so thin. I think that chevy, uh, chevy oil is thinning my hair too, but it's helping it grow. This is what this part of here is why I lost a lot of hair. But the shabby oil is working. And you can get that at Amazon. But I got mine from my local African store. It's like a, a Ghana store. So they carry everything. So that's where I get my shabby oil from. But you can get it from Amazon, guys. Just, just Google African shabby oil. Let me show you. If you have hair breakage, it says hair strengthener. You think my hands are dirty, so greasy. And uh, where's the other one? And the hair growth one is almost gone, guys. I've used it so much. I ain't got no much. Not many left, but I do have a new container that I can mix myself. This is the raw shabby powder i can mix it with the shabby oil and the reason it's all messed up like this because it is raw please don't fall because every time i open it it's like a mess you see that all i gotta do is put some oil on there and rub on my hair yeah so that's what you see on the other one that's how i'm going to treat this hair Let's see here. So, 
I know why I had my camera facing the other way. It should be facing this way. I'm using a section of my husband's sink. It's right now, he's in the guest in the other bedroom because I'll be kicking his ass out because he snores a lot. So basically, this is my bathroom. Haha. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. If you have excess, why not use it? Utilize the space. Because I'm tired of cleaning after him when he uses the the sink. So kind of threw him in the other room. Room that has a whole bathroom and a sink by itself. So yeah, he can mess that up all he wants to. He can clean it when he can handle it anymore. <laughs> anyway, guys, so let's continue. Let me go wash up sherry. See you. Okay, guys, so this is me being at home. I'm not, I didn't even put no wig. This is my real hair, as damaged as it is. I just did two plaits. You guys saw that. So, um, I just want to close this vlog today. It's Thursday. I know yesterday I made a mistake and said it was Thursday, but when I was in the guest bathroom, but it's actually Thursday today. So, I don't really know how to close this vlog, but... I did get some, I didn't show you guys what I got from Goodwill. That's exactly what. I'm like in my family room. These things belong in a garage. But yeah, so I showed you guys, I did get the um, Banana Republic dress. And if I tell you this dress fits me, maybe I will try it on at the end fits me to the T. I love it. Even though it's a 12. Banana Republic runs small, guys. So it's a, it might be a little big in the arm hole, but the fact that this is black and white in the front, and then all black. Yeah, and this was only um, $9.99, guys. Because, like I let you all know, I do get 20% off out of Google. So we got that. And then I did get the beautiful long fashion nova dress. Gorgeous. I tried this on. It's a size medium. It fits me. The only thing about this dress is half of my boob is exposed. So if I'm going to wear this, I'm going to do some kind of um, camisole underneath. Beautiful fashion nova. So I picked that up. This was $10.99. Like I said, they don't have sales anymore. The only sales they have is like purple tag is 50% off. They used to have two tags. One used to be 50 and one used to be 25, but no longer. They don't have no more um, 25 for off. So now what they're offering is a 15% discount for students. So if you're a student, you get 15% off. No matter what day you shop, just show your school ID. So there's that. So those are the two items I got from the female section. And then you guys saw me how I found this cute. It's some Lorraine men's button down shirt. I'm just going to put this on. So let's see how I'm going to work this with some black. It actually looks good with what I'm wearing. This is definitely how I'm gonna wear this. And maybe inside one of my um, Yves Saint Laurent bla men's blazers that I thrifted. And voila, we can style it in a whole lot of ways or I can pull it down and then button it up. And voila, just make it chic. Put a YSL pin right there. So this one was purple tag, so this was $7.99, but then I paid half of that, which is $3.99, I believe. Almost four dollars. So, so far, I think I only got four items out of Goodwill. This is the last. For some reason, I thought I had five. Did I have five? 
no i remember i put that uh i was about to get this beautiful t-shirt but then when i was about to pay for it i realized it had a little hole in the back so the other thing i found is this double breasted Giorgio armani means blazer you guys might say oh my god jackie it's kind of big yeah it's okay we like oversized see right here when when i first got it i said to myself oh, am i gonna sell this maybe to the real real but then i came home and i tried it on i was like nah i can do an oversized blazer with this and then i will belt it which i need a belt down here just to do that but i don't i don't have a belt down here but you guys get the idea. Maybe I get a belt so you can see. It will be like really, really cute. So we did get that. And um, that's it for, oh, how much was this? I wonder, this was, I, I believe this was, um, I, I don't believe it was $14.99. $14.99 yellow tag. It's more like a... I don't know. It's not black. It's more like a... a blue pinstripe. Blue, like dark blue. Or is this black? I'm not sure. I think it's black. Just with some pinstripe. It's very heavy, guys. And the only reason I love this is it doesn't have a slit in the back. Which is a good thing. No slit back there. So, heavy duty. Giorgio Armani, made in Italy. I don't even know what size this is. Didn't care. I just tried it on and it looked good. This is more of a, maybe something you wear in the fall. Did they cut off? I hate it when they do that. They cut cut off the um, they cut off the size. So I don't know what this is. It did come out of cleaners because I just took away the cleaners tag. You know that little clean cleaners little blue tag was on there, and I just took it out. But even if I don't put it on, I'm going somewhere. I can just throw it over. When I go on, it does look oversized this way. Like, but isn't that what we're doing? Oversized blazers. So, yeah. This is like a $1,500 blazer for $15. Yeah. Maybe even more. I said, Georgia Armani is probably a $3,000 men's blazer. I mean, mind you, it's pre owned, but the quality is still there. So. That's when I came out of Goodwill. I think I tried to show you those in the car, but then I wasn't sure. Right. So I have some little trinkets that I got. Just to show you guys, I'm not promoting anybody. These are just more. I got this, I think either Balenciaga or Burberry. I have a Burberry scarf for the same BBs. So I don't know if they were going for Balenciaga or Burberry. Either way. Your girl gonna wear it. So, voila, I got that. And then I got this teeny tiny teardrop earrings. When I was getting these earrings, I thought they were, I thought they were bigger. But no, they're so teeny, teeny, tiny. All right, come on. I don't want all of that to be showing. So there's that. These are too cute. Voila. It's more like a teardrop. Now, I, I, I'm not a girl that loves teeny tiny earrings. When I was buying this, I thought they were bigger. Once more, when it got here, it was like April Fool's. But I, I'm going to wear it. It's cute. And then I got the African map. Hello, that's what I should wear with what if you see my skirt, you know exactly what I'm talking about. 
I said African print skirt. So I'm gonna let's try this one. Let's try that. I had to take this off from here. The only thing about this map is it does take a minute to put it on. So we got that. Let me find a little backing that comes with this. Yep. I don't know if you can see it. I did get another one, so, but in a different style. I have a hard time putting earrings on. The back end of this is so shallow. OMG, where is the, where is the thingy? But, I mean, I'm trying to put this on, this little back end. I always have a hard time with this part. Finally. Oh, no, it didn't go in. It fell. I thought I got it, but I didn't. But anyway, this is this is the map. Cute. Cute as hell. And I like the other earrings that I have on because it's like a pop of color. This does not give me the color so i'm gonna go ahead and put my other earrings back on for some reason i always have a hard time where did the backing go it fell off this the map was good but i gotta i gotta get time to put it on let's see there's that Love this. This comes. These are so lightweight. It comes in yellow. It comes in blue. And then it comes in this hot pink. So I found it and it just fell on my floor, the back end of the map. So the next item I got, I'm not even gonna take off my earrings anymore. It's this Bottega dupe. You know this that everybody's wearing now i don't know what this is what should they call this you guys like jackie you're brave to wear your hair out oh yeah don't give it two hoots i'm gonna just i want to come here with a wig on like why yeah i love those glasses that's why i'm still i still have them on this little it's like a teardrop we got that. This is cute. I don't know. It's not stainless steel, so it's just fashion. So I don't know how long I can wear this before it tarnishes. But whatever it is, it's really not that expensive. And then everything else I got is this beautiful green Van Cleef dupe bracelet. Voila. I'm just, I just ordered the earrings. I think I have earrings to go with this. And if not, I'm going to go ahead and order the, some more earrings to go with this. And even maybe a necklace. So I got that. Just showing you guys all my little. This was delivered to me yesterday. And I have a David Ehrman dupe. Who doesn't want a David Ehrman? I could swear I ordered two of these with a yellow, yellow face. It's that thin one, but what they do, they send me just one. It's like, you know, I can get this at Ailey showroom, which is what I do now. I just order and they ship it to me. So I could swear I got two of this, but only one came. So I have to make a call. I tell you guys, you can get the same things from Ailey showroom you get from that site, which I don't want to promote. Uh, and we got this Versace um, dupe necklace. You guys saw that I had those earrings, but I sold those. I have another one, you know, more like a, 
a round neck beautiful so this is cute to play around with I'll show you guys the glasses I'm wearing. Oh, I'm trying to tell you this this African map. You know, it's the backings keep falling off. So let me put it back in there. I think I like the other one much better. It's a whole lot smaller. So um, you know what? Put it in there. Voila. So that um that's it for my show until oh the the headband this Fendi headband which I'm not gonna take off I got that too you see right there it says FF this is a thicker one I have the I think I have like four Fendi headbands I have the white and black one no three and then I have this. This is new, and I had a smaller version of this. This is more puffy. The other one was very thin, and yeah, price was the same. So why why did I get a small one before? I don't really know. But anyway, so this is how we're gonna continue this vlog. I was going to go ahead and try that um, that dress on. So maybe I go upstairs. I want to try a dress in my my family room i just that's not what we're going to do okay all right guys see you later peace okay guys so here is the banana republic dress even though it's a 12. see it's just a little big around my armhole but i paired it up with this um zara pumps so i'm going to level this up with that blazer so and this blazer i'm going to make it look like a dress now, i didn't plan on trying on stuff but either we wear it as such let's try this part before we take do the other part yeah let's get a bag I got the Valentino Rockstar Duke from Ailey Showroom. So yeah, this is the Armani. It's a little big to wear it this way, so I'm going to wear it the other way. And then put a belt over it. You guys know, I'm a sucker for men's blazer. Oversized, yes. Do I love it? Yes. Don't care about the size. Because if I had to go to Zara to buy an oversized blazer, I would have paid $129. But this is luxury. This is Giorgio Armani. I paid $15, if not less, because I did get 20% off. So I'm going to put a belt over it. Make it more singe it to my silhouette so it's not overpowering me i know oversized blazers are in but this is this is what we need to do when we buy men's blazer just put a belt if you don't want that oversized look just do a belt and call it a day yeah this is goodwill but if I was going out to dinner, I put the fruit, I put the hair back on. So don't mind my hole downstairs. That was the real Jackie. This is Jackie with some with some fro. I totally needed to put the colorful blade um, earrings on, but being that I was doing black and white, I decided to do this Catherine Malandrino earrings. And yeah. How cute is this? This is eight for that banana republic dress can't wait to wear this probably to church or to go out to eat i will try that 
fashion nova dress but my boobies were popping up but let's give it a try okay hold on <laughs> so here's the fashion nova dress guys i must say it is extremely gorgeous it's a size medium but if your girls are bigger like this is a i have a i think i'm a 36 double d yes if you have a double d cup and you're gonna be overflowing so your best bet is to wear like a, a little tankini well it's not a tankini just a little bra bralette that's the word over it because when i tried it on i was like huh who's gonna walk out of the house but you see that now I can do just that with my slippers. Very long dress. I got no heels on. But if I was to do some heels, I think I would elevate it a little bit. Maybe some slippers. You know, I got a, a Fendi shoe collection to do. Let's see this one. We go from the real real. Did I ever show you guys this? Let me put it on with this long fashion over dress and see how it elevates my outfit. This Fendi, this Fendi was from the real real size 38. It still has a real tag because your girl has not had the chance to put it on. With everything that's going on in my life, sometimes it's hard to do stuff. To, I mean, I know you guys, you guys see me dressed up, you think, oh my gosh, she's so strong. Yeah, I might be strong in the surface, but inside, I'm a hot mess. But uh, sometimes I do things so that I take my mind off of stuff. So here it is. See, I have this Fendi heels and this dress is still super long. Super long. You can't even get to see my shoes. So, yeah. Only maybe if I walk. Let's see. I think if I walk, then you can see it because then I keep moving up like this, which means if I'm going somewhere, I'm just going to have to hold this and keep it moving. But, uh, it's cool. Love it. Love it. Love it. The YSL shirt can come to play. If I don't want to feel so exposed. That is if I don't want to wear all black. I mean, the, the Fashion Nova has a little bit of um, so what I can do to show the style of this of this is like just button it right here and pull up and voila yeah that's what i do with the ysl button down if i was to wear this fashion over i have to show this bra guys or either that i find i don't like those two bits because my boobies are too heavy <laughs> to maintain those tubies because every time I wear a tubie, I'm forever pulling it up. So I need something with a strap to support these girls. Okay, so that's what I would do. The Hugo Boss white shirt you guys saw on the video, I put that back. Don't only because it was too small, but I think I will go back and grab it because most of my white button down shirts that I have are mostly oversized. That I can wear as a dress but um if I was to get the Hugo Boss one I could literally wear it as such you know cinch because it was slim fit I when I got home I said why did I put that shirt back so I will stop by later on today to Goodwill and get the shirt if it's still there which I think it is because it's such a small size but yes guys this is our Goodwill outfits they had four pieces. Voila. We're doing the thing, okay? I forgot how 
thrifting used to make me happy, especially only if I find luxury items, because who's going to Saks, Neiman's, Nostrums, Bob the Goodman to go get luxury when I can just thrift it? another way if I don't want if it's cold outside I can just walk around with this I have so many men's places so I do have a Valentino one I can put on but this is my heavy duty Giorgio Armani after maybe I wear it a couple of times I might sell it to the real real because hubby be looking at me like why are you wearing such big clothes because I love it. Look at this. I don't even have to put a belt with this one. Just keep it going. You guys remember I found something like this at H&M, uh, but in a cream color. How much did I pay for that? $20 at H&M? That was okay. What? I'm trying to see if I can button this. Oh, I don't know if I can sell this at the real real because the inside button is broken. So, I don't know if they will buy it still, if I was to sell it. But, um, wait a minute now, there's no, oh, here we go. I do have a Zara, I mean, an H&M blazer that's styled like this Giorgio Armani. Okay, so that's that. But the only thing about this is, this is pinstripe. You see the pinstripe, you see that? But the h and one is just solid black. So, yes. That's that. This is what we go for Goodwill. Oh, while I was showing you guys my, my little trinkets that I got, I did get a bag. I forgot to show you guys. Let's take off the, let's take off the Fendi shoes. That Fendi shoe cost me probably like $69 from the real real. Didn't have to pay an arm and a leg. I bought that shoe during the fall when they were having clearance and whatever. All right, so I did get this Bottega dupe. Puffy. It's just, it's not a, it's not a R. It's just a dupe. They have this at um, LA Showroom. Look at that. They have it at that site that everybody and their mama goes to. I mean, I only got it because I don't have this kind of green in my closet. I have green bags, but none of it is this Bottega green, the vibrant green. I don't know if it goes with my shoe, my boots. Let me see. Yeah. Because last time I wore a green bag with these boots, they didn't quite drive. But you can see how close this one is. So, voila, it's just a play bag. I still haven't taken out my crossbody. If I'm going thrifting, if I want to go somewhere where, you know, I feel a little bit like, okay, this is not a good area to be pulling out a luxury bag. If I'm just around town, I'm going to do my nails. Because, you know, sometimes those nail salons get robbed. I can just carry this and put not one credit card, not all of them. Just one card or debit card that you're using to pay, or you just get your cash and your phone. Things that you can easily re replace in case somebody was to bum rush you. This is why I get these kind of bags, just to play with. It actually has their Bottega buckle, but this is just a dupe. All right, guys, so this is it. Let me go downstairs, fake my face. This is Switzerland, guys, in case you were wondering. Like, what is she showing back there? That's Switzerland. 
I've been to Switzerland before. Cold as hell. So, if you want to know, this is the countryside of Switzerland. Okay. So, I took Swiss air and I had to make a, a stop. I didn't go to Switzerland because, oh, that's where I want to go. I had to make a stop where I had to stay there overnight. And um, actually went to this went to town for a little bit before going to my hotel so but it was cold and i couldn't wait to leave but anywho enough of that this is it hope you guys like this little vlog that's how we're gonna close the vlog you guys saw my hair being treated treated so voila end of vlog it's thursday i'm not posting anything tomorrow i have a collaboration of um, something coming up but i won't do that video until the 30th but they want me to do it on my business channel not my regular channel ask me why don't know maybe i figured oh you guys because it's a business channel i can sell it a whole lot more so i'll let you guys know when that come through i'm waiting to receive the package and then we can work on it all right guys thank you for everything love you and end the vlog bye for now ciao